Aloha everybody, it is I, the Great Clement, and ladies and gentlemen, I have rejoined the X-Series at long last to look at Mega Man Maverick Hunter X for the Sony PlayStation Portable, the PSP, if you will. Uh, for those unfamiliar, Maverick Hunter X is essentially a remake of the original game that was on the Super Nintendo, the original Mega Man X, my personal favorite in the series because the original game was so good. And this is a remake. It has a 2.5D art style. It adds anime uh, clips in there. It adds voice acting. But the core game as you know it is pretty much exactly as it was, minus a few tweaks here and there, and the Sigma Castle does change a little bit. But uh, it's Mega Man X, and I love Mega Man X. It's a fantastic game, and as a remake goes, this is a fantastic remake. Uh, the anime clips you're watching right now, well, not that one. <laughs> Spoilers! Uh, most of the anime clips you're watching right now are actually part of this OVA called The Day of Sigma, which is actually included on the disc, and I uploaded that video before this one, so you probably should have seen it by now, but if you haven't, uh, if you want to watch the prequel before the story actually happens, there is The Day of Sigma, and you can watch that, and I riff it, because I'm funny like that. My name is Thomas Light. I am the researcher who designed and built Mega Man X. Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. But yeah, again, it's a remake of Mega Man X, and uh, it has a few new additions, including an extra playable character, and I'll be doing two playthroughs of this game, uh, one with X and the second with that extra playable character. I'm not going to say who it is, because, you know, I don't want to spoil it. Although you probably know. There's also a demo for Mega Man Powered Up in here, but, uh, well, we've already played that. I'm going to be tackling this game on hard mode, because I have brass balls. <laughs> Anywho, enjoy the anime intro. Sigma's work. Alrighty, so we're into it. Again, this is a remake of Mega Man X, so all of the basic rules apply. Uh, you are Mega Man X, you can charge your Mega Buster. The character can climb up walls by repeatedly jumping on them. Uh, you will find Dr. Light upgrades that make your character even better during the course of the game, so when we start off, we do not have a dash attack yet, but we will get it eventually. Uh, this is a remake uh, pretty much level by level, exactly as it was. Uh, this is very different from Mega Man Powered Up, which I did an LP of earlier, where they redesigned everything. Like, they changed the levels, they let you play as all the robot masters, and a whole bunch of difficulties and extra modes. Uh, in comparison to Powered Up, this is a lot more bare-bones of a remake. Uh, it's not quite as expansive. The central highway level that you know and love from the Super Nintendo game, 
is pretty much what we're playing right now. The same enemies, the same uh, set pieces, the same level design as it was. There's a little bit of slowdown. This game does have slowdown every now and then when too much is happening on screen. Not my fault, I didn't make the game. But uh, <laughs> for the most part though, the level design is exactly as you remember it. The enemies are exactly as you remember them. It's just a straightforward remake. Now in terms of momentum and whether it feels authentic and it feels like the original game, I really haven't found too much of a difference. I mean, it's, sometimes I think uh, dash jumping off of walls feels a little bit more stiff. But for the most part, this game is a fantastic remake, and if you've never played the original Mega Man X, and you jump into Maverick Hunter X, you're not really missing out on anything. It's pretty decent in terms of gameplay. It feels like the old game, uh, but you know. Now it looks different. It has 2.5 graphics. It has uh, voice acting and character models and updated soundtrack, which is still badass. The Central Highway theme is amazing, and I love it to death. <laughs> uh, I am playing on hard mode, and the only thing that hard mode does is it makes the enemies hit harder. That's it. It doesn't change the level design, it doesn't change the enemy placement. All hard mode really does is make the damage you take from getting hit uh, a lot higher. Being familiar with Mega Man X, because I've played it so many times, uh, hard mode isn't really that hard to me. Uh, I can dodge enemies quite easily, I know all the good tricks to destroy enemies, and uh, you know. I love Mega Man X, it's my favorite in the X series, so I like this game a lot. Vile! I should have known you'd be involved in Sigma's rebellion. Rebellion? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> I'm just here to cause trouble for you. I hate you. Hope you're ready, X. Well, if we aficionados must know, Vile's gonna win the fight. So I'm just gonna run into him and let him kill because... Wait, I disappeared. I come. Did Vile just kill me? That's not supposed to happen. So yeah, in this remake, they have changed a few things, one of which, Vile is a legitimate boss fight in the first stage. In the original Super Nintendo game, you couldn't beat him. In this one, you have to beat him. All I would recommend is that shooting the armor does nothing, so you have to charge up your shots and aim for Vile's head, basically. Uh, because I'm playing on hard mode, it doesn't take too many hits to kill me, so you do have to be a little bit careful, but, uh, you know, just... It's not that bad. You underestimated me. I hate that about you. X, there's nothing you can do. I'll defeat you and Sigma. Then I'll change the world. X, are you all right? Hm, zero. Why would someone as powerful as you align yourself with X? He's just a B-class hunter, nothing more. Vile. You're nothing but a maverick now. <laughs> Zero, what happened to Vile? All I know is that he's our enemy now. <sighs> X, I'm gonna stay on Sigma's trail a bit longer. You get back to Hunter Base and take it easy. Gotcha. Let's hook up again later. Zero. Thanks. You saved me again. Large-scale Mavericks have been detected in various locations. Oh, no! They must work for Sigma! It looks like the Rebellion has begun. We'd better put a stop to them before we go after Sigma. And so we are rejoined with the eight familiar Mavericks from the original game. Of course, Chill Penguin, Flame Mammoth, Boomer Kawanger, although now he's Boomerang Kawanger. I guess they wanted him... I don't know if it was originally like that, so they just changed it, but either way. All the eight Mavericks are back, and uh, I'm going to be going for a new first starter this time around. Usually I'd go after Chill Penguin, but now I'm going to go after Flame Mammoth. Flame Mammoth! 
Again, for the most part, this is a pretty decent remake of Mega Man X, but like the vile boss fight we just saw, they have tweaked and changed a few things here and there. For example, the dash upgrade that you find in the Dr. Light capsule is no longer at Chill Penguin stage. They have switched the Dr. Light upgrades a little bit, so now it's in Flame Mammoth stage, and that's why I'm playing Flame Mammoth first. Not only is, in, is he an easy maverick to take on first, but uh, I want to be able to dash immediately. I want those parts. And it's just up here. My name is Thomas Light. This is a message for X. I entrust the future to you. Light? I, I think I know this guy. If you've come across this castle, I fear you must be in the midst of a difficult battle. I have left four powers for you to inherit. I believe that you will use them in the cause of justice. Here you will find the foot parts. Equip the parts you find in this castle and you will gain the ability to dash. Use this power to steer the future in the right direction. I trust in you, my dear X. So yes, now they're in Flame Mammoth stage, not Chill Penguins. Also, you'll notice that the really hard platforming part that was part of Flame Mammoth stage is now completely gone. Because originally, there was always a Dr. Light capsule here, but you had to make a really tough dash jump onto some blocks that you had to headbutt upwards in order to get to the Light capsule. And I know a lot of people hated that particular part because they just found it really hard to get that upgrade. This time around, you don't need dash at all. All you do is you go up and there it is. So they have made that a little bit easier. Uh, but again, it's Flame Mammoth stage. It's got conveyor belts. Uh, in my original LP, I showed this place after beating Chill Penguin. Uh, this game does have a level affecting system where when you defeat certain mavericks, a few of the levels will actually change a little bit. Uh, for example, if you haven't killed Chill Penguin, this place is all filled with lava and stuff. But when you do kill Chill Penguin, all of a sudden the lava goes away and it's turned into ice. And now you can't be in danger of running into lava and stuff, you know. Uh, this level does have a sub tank and it has a heart tank. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to go for them quite yet. Basically, the heart tank is uh, something that increases your health, and the sub tank is something that stores up energy that you collect in levels, and you can use it to give yourself a, a, a breath of fresh air, let's say. <laughs> I was wondering who would show up. I didn't expect a B-class hunter like you. What are you doing, Flame Mammoth? Don't be stupid! <laughs> There's nothing I love more than stomping weak little blabbermouths like you into dust. That settles it. You're definitely a maverick. Power! Come on, Flame Mammoth, don't be stupid. <laughs> I love that line, Reed. Uh, again, the boss strategies aren't really that radically different. I think in hard mode they get an extra attack. Some of them do. I haven't really noticed all of them, uh, what happens to them in hard mode. But uh, again, you played Mega Man X, you know what the deal is. Flame Mammoth has a conveyor belt that is constantly moving both you and he around. He doesn't really move too much, but uh, you can still get damaged by running into him. So when he gets close to you, try dash jumping off the wall and getting to the other side of him. When he jumps, he'll make a ground pound thing that stuns you for a bit, but it won't kill you, and he won't actually attack you when you're stunned, because he's very slow like that. He will afterwards, obviously, but he's very slow, and so he's a good maverick to take on first, even in hard mode where everyone does uh, a lot bigger damage and whatnot. But, uh... Yeah, that's Flame Mammoth. Again, it's a remake of Mega Man X. If you've played the Super Nintendo original, this is not a drastically different game. You're gonna know exactly what you're getting into, not only with the level design, but also with the boss strategies, for the most part. Again, there's gonna be tweaks, and I'll be talking about them, but yeah. By defeating Flame Mammoth, we get Fire Wave. We basically get a flamethrower. It's awesome. So we'll continue this nostalgia train in part two. See you then.